Right. I can do one and two quickly. Okay, all right. I guess we're solving Ibero today. All right, welcome back to uh, the Ibero life solve something. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to do problem five because everyone's telling me it's easy. So in problem five, you want to split one through 2021 into two sets such that their product is a square. However, you also know their sum. The sum is equal exactly to uh, something. Okay, so this triangular number is 1010 times 2021. No, wait, is that how it works? 1011 times... No, wait, hang on. <laughs> You would think I'd be able to multiply this, but I'm so old and I'm not sure I can. 2043231. I think. Okay, so I want two numbers with some. It's like first figure out what the sums are and then worry about the set part later, because I don't think the set part is going to cause a problem. And then I want the product to be a square. <laughs> this number is so large. The number is so big. Okay, we're going to factor it. How does, does 1011 factor? Yes, it's little by three. Is three three seven prime? I have no idea. What's twenty twenty one? Is that all right? Frick. So actually, it would be enough to find um, two numbers with sum of any divisor such that the product is a square. Can I do that? Can I just wing it? Okay, 337 is a sum of two squares, right? Because it's... <laughs> That's actually really funny. Okay, so 337 is the only one that's like a 1 mod 4 prime. The other primes are all 3 mod 4. Uh, but 337 should work. 337 is... Uh, 16 squared plus 9 squared. It really? It is? Okay. Okay, so... Um, as long as S of A... Is... 16 squared times the other stuff, 6063, and S of B is 9 squared times 6063, we'd be okay. Okay, uh, I, I think this should just be fine, right? There's no way we can't achieve this. Um, nine, eighty, one, two thousand twenty, two, three, blah, 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 eighty, one, nineteen, twenty, nineteen, thirty, nineteen, thirty. Okay, now I'm seeing why everyone told me to do this problem. <laughs> All right. All right, we did it. Yo, we're good at math. <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened, but I guess that happened. Why is this problem five? Now I'm really curious what problem four is. Nine squared times six thousand. No!
Uh, that, that was that was sad. I was wondering why they were so far off. All right, is that okay now? All right, cool. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to come up with an excuse for why I'm messing everything up today, but I can't think of one. So I am just confused. That's actually kind of interesting though. Uh, this construction feels like it should be unique, right? Because if you have a if you have two things that multiply to a square and their sum is whatever this number happens to be. Um, well, not unique, but I feel like the sums should be unique. Because No, that, that's not quite true. Well, hmm. Mm. They are unique, okay. It feels like they should be. Um, just because... So if SA and SB have a common factor, that common factor has to divide uh, 1011 times 2021. Which would be pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. So if they have a common prime factor, then division. Otherwise, they're squares, so you're trying to write this thing as a sum of squares. Division case doesn't work because all the primes there are bad as well. Uh, other than like the... Three, three, yeah, whatever, okay. Christmas theorem. Okay. This is something a bell equation. <laughs> uh. 